again, everyone. My name is Jason. I'm with Total HIPAA Compliance. In the last few episodes, I've covered encryption of texts, risk analysis versus risk assessment, and penalties and fines. You will find the links here. Today, we're going to be talking about business associates and subcontractors and their responsibilities when it comes to covered entities. Before we get started, September 23rd, 2013 is approaching quickly, and if you haven't done anything about your company's compliance, the time is now. I'm happy to announce we're launching our employer training and compliance materials on Monday, August 12th, and our business associate subcontractor training is going to be released a week later on August 19th. This is a cost-effective and thorough way to get compliant fast. We have all the forms you need, and we take care of the training, which is all done online a 21st century solution to your problems. I also want to give a quick shout out to David Smith, the creator of our compliance materials and host of our training videos. He was recently awarded the 2013 Employee Benefit Advisors Health Plan Advisor of the Year Award. Huzzah! <laughs> okay, now we've gotten the business out of the way. What are the new responsibilities for business associates and subcontractors with the HIPAA Omnibus update earlier this year? Well, let's give a little history on the subject. A business associate is a person other than a workforce member who performs a function or activity on behalf of a covered entity or provides a service that involves the disclosure of PHI or protected health information. This includes your lawyer, your IT professional, cleaning company, shredding company, etc. Anyone who may create, receive, or come in contact with, maintain, or transmit PHI. That's a big definition. Now, it used to be you would have a contract with your business associates and your subcontractors, and your business associates would have a contract with their subcontractors, and that was about it. There wasn't really any direct liability for the PHI for the business associate or the subcontractor. HHS saw this as a hole in the law, and this was one of the big changes for business associates and their subcontractors. Business associates and subcontractors must comply with all aspects of the privacy and security rule. This is an important distinction, so I'm going to repeat this. Business associates and subcontractors must comply with all aspects of the privacy and security rules. This includes such things as encrypting PHI and transmission, encrypting hard drives, having policies and procedures for privacy and security, the list goes on. The reality is your business associates and their subcontractors are now held to the same standard for protecting PHI as a covered entity. Now let's say there was a breach by a business associate and their systems weren't encrypted and they got hacked. This could reflect back on the covered entity. Just because you have a business associate or subcontractor agreement in place doesn't absolve the covered entity. This falls under the federal common law of agency provision. All covered entities and business associates are liable for violations of a subcontractor acting within the scope of an agency. This is why we recommend that you audit your business associates and subcontractor policies and procedures to see if they are really compliant or they're just humoring you. Actually, a breach isn't very humorous for anyone, so let's say just paying it lip service. Okay, here's the question section for you. Remember, I am not a lawyer, and though I've done a lot of research, this is not, nor should it be construed as legal advice. So here it goes. Is the information in a long-term care insurance policy covered by HIPAA? As a general rule, long-term care is covered by HIPAA because of the health information related to it. Under ERISA and other federal laws, they do treat long-term care insurance as a health insurance product, and so for that reason, it is included. On a related note, we are often asked if things like critical illness insurance and cancer insurance are also covered by HIPAA. Both of these policies are traditionally not considered health insurance plans. Thanks again for stopping by. Again, my name is Jason. I'm with Total HIPAA Compliance. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comments below. Thanks. Have a great day.